Distance and displacement time graphs are two separate things. They show different graphs for the same situation because they represent differing amounts of information. Displacement has more information, so shows it. Distance has less information, so cannot show it. The same is true of speed time and velocity time graphs. Speed time graphs show speed on the y-axis. As speed increases, the value on the y-axis increases. As speed decreases, the value on the y-axis decreases. In this way, it is different to distance time graphs, because a speed time graph can have both positive and negative gradients. However, speed can never be negative. You are always travelling forwards as direction is not specified in this scalar quantity. This means that although you can go up or down in a speed time graph, you can't go below zero speeds. Negative speeds make no sense. It is like being in a car and looking at the speedometer. The speed is positive. If you are reversing, the speed is still positive. It only measures how quickly the wheels go around, not in which direction they are turning. Acceleration is the change of speed with time. So, like speed is shown as the steepness of the slope, or the gradient, of a distance time graph, acceleration is shown in the same way here. If the graph is increasing, the gradient is positive and you have a positive acceleration. If the graph is decreasing, then the gradient is negative and the acceleration is negative. Velocity time graphs, on the other hand, are different. The same rules for speed apply here, except they are not limited to only positive values. Because we define the direction of our motion, it is possible to have negative velocities as well as positive ones. This means that our lines can go below the x-axis. In both the velocity and speed time graphs, acceleration is the same. In a speed time graph, the gradient is either positive or negative. The same is true in a velocity time graph. This demonstrates a point made previously about acceleration. You need not describe it as a scalar or vector. It is always a vector, as you cannot describe acceleration without building in its direction, either speeding up or slowing down. But how do you show this property on the distance and displacement graphs?